पॉलिसी बाजार पर एक करोड़ रुपए का टर्म लाइफ इंश्योरेंस केवल चार सौ पचास रूपए महीने से शुरू गुड इवनिंग यूर वॉचिंग लेफ्ट राइट इन सेंटर आई एम विष्णु शोम आर बिग फोकस टूडे आर कंटिन्यूड कवरेज ऑन दैट पुरिफिक सिचुएशन ऑन एन एयर इंडिया फ्लाइट वेन वन पैसेंजर यूरिनेटेड ऑन एन अदर वन इनफैक्ट दर इज नाउ अ सेकेंड इंसिडेंट विच इज कम टू लाइट विच अपेरेंटली टुक प्लेस टेन डेज आफ्टर दिस वन दैट्स बिन रिपोर्टेड बाई द प्रेस ट्रस्ट ऑफ इंडिया But as far as that first incident is concerned which took place on the 26th of November in an extremely hard hitting statement the aviation regulator has accused Air India now run by the Tatas of being unprofessional in their handling of the situation where a man urinated on a co-passenger in business class the regulator says there was a systemic failure by the airline which was devoid of empathy in helping the affected passenger The regulator has now issued show cause notices to the pilots, the crew and senior airline executives and they want an answer in 2 weeks. What's more there is a second incident now being reported. According to the Press Trust of India, 10 days after this incident, a passenger urinated on the blanket of a woman passenger on a Paris Delhi flight. But here the commander of the aircraft did alert ground authorities although the passenger was allowed to go after he wrote a written apology. The regulator is now looking into this incident as well. But here are the details of the first incident of the 26th of November that the regulator has now said was completely unacceptable. This is the business class section of an Air India 777, the same aircraft that a 70-year-old woman travelled on from New York to Delhi. After the lights were dimmed on the 26th of November, a drunk man named Shankar Mishra. seated one seat ahead of her unzipped his pants and urinated on her in her complaint letter the senior citizen told the tata group chairperson i was getting ready to sleep and another passenger walked to my seat completely inebriated he unzipped his pants relieved himself and continued to expose me to his private parts air india which has accepted that it was lax in handling the situation has now told the aviation regulator that their flight crew believe the senior citizen and the man who urinated on her had been able to sort out the situation this letter that you see was their initial complaint to the delhi police but now in their response to the regulator air india says the cabin crew reported the incident to the commander as there was no further flare up or confrontation and respecting the perceived wishes of the female passenger the crew elected not to summon law enforcement upon landing but complaints have now been filed and the police are not waiting they are on the hunt for the accused shankar mishra he has been charged with section 294 committing an obscene act section 506 criminal intimidation 509 insulting the modesty of any woman and also been charged under the aircraft act Interestingly Air India which has placed Shankar Mishra on a no fly list for 30 days has already been in touch with him and they've held a hearing the letter to the aviation regulator says the alleged perpetrator has requested for additional documents prior to a second hearing scheduled for the 10th of January 2023 Sadly this is not the first time something like this has happened in 2018 a similar incident happened on the same New York to Delhi sector as well serious questions being asked on how the passenger got so drunk was he drunk before boarding or was he served too much alcohol on board more significantly the airline says they need to review what to do in a serious situation even if there appears to be a resolution between passengers they also need to answer really hard question asked by the regulator Vishnu Shom NDTV Well joining me now Captain Mohan Ranganathan one of India's finest air safety experts we're also joined uh, by Nidhi Chapekar she's a former Jet Airways flight attendant Captain uh, uh, Bejon Mishra is a consumer activist uh, who joins us and Anu Sharma who's a travel blogger uh, I'd like to thank you all uh, very much uh, for uh, for being with us and Mr AK Jain also with us former director general of police in Uttar Pradesh Captain Mohan Ranganathan um, I think um, when we'll get to the specifics but the fact that there is now another incident which has been reported 10 days after this first incident this is obviously a I mean a, a, it's bizarre but I think the most bizarre part of it is that in both occasions the passenger was allowed to go in the new incident on a flight from Paris to Delhi it appears that this passenger had to write an apology and was then allowed to go so uh, 
it, it just seems bizarre. Why would an airline want to allow something like that at all to, ha to, 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 to happen? See, it shows a complete failure of the system in Air India. The old habits have not died. Even though it is with the Tatas, we know that there is a cooling period till February this year. Uh, and if I was Air India management, I'll give marching orders to many. Yes, you can order a number of aircrafts, but if you have irresponsible and indisciplined crew, you will actually ruin the reputation of the airline. These two incidents have already done that. And you know, to say that the passenger apologized, so we let him off. This is not something that you can just apologize and get away with it. And even the other, and the main incident in November, when that senior citizen lady was uh, completely, I would say what that man did was disgusting. And just a 30 day of no fly uh, punishment is not good enough. Actually, they should ban that guy from flying or they should ban him permanently from business and first class. Apparently, he's one of those upstarts who's made quick money and doesn't know how to handle it. You know, so uh, the failure there is not just the cabin crew. It's also the pilots. Because if an incident like this happens, the cabin crew would have informed the captain or the senior person who would have informed the captain. And all their aircrafts have A cars. And in five minutes, the entire message sequence of events would have been with the ground control in Delhi or Bombay, wherever the flight Bombay. was going. Uh, sorry, Delhi, yes. So why didn't they act to have him arrested on landing? You know, and to say that, you know, they are not allowed to upgrade. Now, this is not a normal incident. If you say there were no first uh, business class seats, the decency requires and the commander should have taken the responsibility of moving her to first class and, you know, Jesus. providing all the assistance. And Air India should have had the ground staff meeting her and they should have handled this just saying that, you know, she uh, apologized. See the letter which she has written to no, the No, I know. It's, it's, it's stirring. I mean, and it's, it's, it's very un unfortunate the way this has happened. Mr. Jain, so, uh, we have a larger, uh, Mr. A.K. Jain, we have a larger issue over here. Uh, you know, there are repeated incidents of aggressive passengers, drunk passengers, rude passengers, obnoxious behavior. It just, uh, you know, as if we've got so many who don't know how to behave. How does one fix this? Is it just the threat of the law that can fix this? Or is there something more that needs to be looked at? No, every citizen is expected to behave in an orderly fashion, especially a person who is traveling uh, business class and is coming from New York. Mm, uh, he is expected to behave properly. Uh, it is absolutely unacceptable, the behavior of the man. He is exposing his private parts to the old lady. He is urinating on her. This is not uh, this is not an accidental case. He did it deliberately. He should have been booked. Air India should have reported the matter at Palam, and Palam police should have taken him immediately under custody under Section 3545095510 Indian Aircraft Act Section 23. All these are applicable in this case. He should be banned for life, uh, at least for, a, for for five years from flying in in any 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 aircraft um, uh, th throughout the world. Such a person, a drastic action should be taken. Uh, so much of alcohol should not have been served. I think Air India is also at fault and that's why they didn't report the incident. How? Why are you serving person liquor when you know that he is in an inebriated state and he is not even uh, in, a, in a position to stand and you keep on serving him the liquor? Because I don't think any drunk person is allowed inside the uh, airport um, um, uh, when, you, when you board the aircraft. So he must have got drunk. Uh, I have also seen on the, on on these flights, New York to Delhi, people start drinking as soon as they board the aircraft, and it is served to them throughout throughout night. This is not done. Uh, you have to you have to keep it under check. And I think uh, Delhi police has uh, done the right thing. They have registered the case, and this person should be so should be charge sheeted so that he is sentenced. Uh, it, yeah, it's no, he's got. He's been charged. He's been. Uh, I mean, un charged under three. Uh, counts of the IPC and the Aircraft yeah. Act as well, but uh, he's still not been arrested. 
despite raids. He's obviously on the run. Uh, that and uh, that will get resolved by itself. Bijan Mishra, um, the fact that uh, airlines believe or professionals believe that you give an apology, you try and sort out a situation, and then it's all okay, and an incident like this will be forgotten. Does that show that, at the very least, you know, the flight crew members didn't care? Secondly, they were too lazy to actually get into the business of filing an FIR. Vishnu, it demonstrates that the crew members needs to become more accountable in terms of the protocol, the regulations, the laws, and it definitely demonstrates that they are completely ignorant. There is nothing called an apology, and you brush the dirt under the carpet. No, there has to be action taken. There is a strict protocol which needs to be followed, whether. It is a VVVIP or a VIP or a important passenger traveling in business class. There is no kind of a compromise. I fail to understand that how Air India, which is now a brand which we all feel is credible by taken over by the Tatas, can tolerate this kind of a uh, irresponsible behavior by the crew that they take an apology, they uh, forget about it, and then. The consumer, the passenger is uh, compelled to write a letter to the cha chairman of the group. I mean, this shows that the whole grievance redressal mechanism is at shame. And we should immediately shame the passenger. There should be a kind of a shaming done. And, and not only Air India, but all airlines should, you know, make the passenger not board any of the airline in the country so that there's a huge deterrent kind of a message which should go. Sure. You know, Vishnu, I feel that this is getting uh, too much that the airlines are taking it for granted that a passenger traveling in business class can get compromised. No, no. Whether no let me get to that point. Class, in fact, let class. me just uh, ask Nidhi Chapeka. She's been a former Jet Airways flight attendant. Nidhi, how does it work uh, in business class? There, is there, uh, where does, where do cabin crew actually say that's enough, no more alcohol? Uh, it's not in business classes, I think so, business, first class sure. or economy. We follow all rules given by the DGCA. You've been given, uh, you know, time period of the flight. During that time period, you can serve only those many, uh, I would say, ml of uh, drinks to the guest, right? You also have to see some people do get drunk with, within one drink. Some may not get drunk in three drinks, but you keep on talking. You, you, you get to know the profile. Here I would say that we as a crew, okay, did not follow, there are rules, aircraft rule 24 says that, you know, no passenger in the state of intoxication can enter. He may have been intoxicated, that means it may be the lapse at the airport, uh, at the check-in counter, security, then the crew did it, so nobody did the right part. Second, no person has the right to impair the safety of the aircraft. There is rule number 29. 22, 23 talks about that you cannot hurt or injure any passenger. So that means the crew laughs totally here. Let me tell you, it is a very tedious task. I have filed an FIR myself twice on an international flight and you need to wait after the flight for about six to seven hours because it's, it takes a lot of your effort. So maybe they do not want it to do that. Nidhi, Nidhi, uh, without getting into specifics unless you want to, what were the FIRs on? Were these violent passengers or passengers were uh, you know, rude? What, what, what was the issue? Uh, the issue was one of the passenger, he misbehaved with the lady, okay, the lady was coming to India and he was apparently he misbehaved Indian, with the, the lady passenger. wasn't an Indian, yeah, so he misbehaved in the sense, he, he, he tried to, you know, touch while she was sleeping and she came running to me, she was an economy class passenger, I didn't let her go like that, I said no, see the message is not, it, it, it shows that how confident are you while taking the charge of the plane. You need to tell that, look, we, you are entering a country who respects women. If we are not letting him go like this. There was another one who, who uh, you know, took two bottles of uh, liquor from our uh, carts while my crew was serving and there was nobody in the galley. But I found out who he was. Because, see, you have an eye. You need to have an eye of an owl at night flight especially. So that means here, your experience, it does count. It's not come to me 
within a day or two i also have cried so many times well passengers used to you know sometimes say wrong things about me i didn't know how to handle it so if everything take a little time so i think crew definitely has not done the proper job because had she been an economy class passenger we had made an economy class passenger sit in a first class when you know it flight was totally full and some person due to the turbulence has vomited on a person we changed the clothes we made the person sit in first class it's okay see it's all matters is how you're taking that person think that person is from your family then only the bonding comes then only humanity that's the culture we are born in i think sure. so we have it among ourselves so definitely it's a lapse i don't know how uh, the airline has taken it we need more of uh, i would say uh, integrity to fly with uh, people i don't know how the, the crew are taking these days but definitely well, they'd better get it, they'd better have a better answer in two weeks otherwise they're in deep trouble the show cause has been noted issued to, so. to the be. flight crew the cabin crew senior executives of the airline and you know i mean fairly strong language has been used by the regulator anu um you know air india as an entity is now you know it's been taken over by the tatas great hope it's a legacy airline and then something like this happens how does this actually affect uh, a the airline's prospects and how does this affect uh, consumers who who may or may not want to travel with the airline uh vishnu i'll definitely say that this will uh, you know change the perspective while we are choosing our uh you know airline while booking our flight especially international i'll have this note in my mind that okay if something has just recently happened i might be one of that victim or i might be on that place so it will definitely affect in uh, like in normal audience i'll say uh, it will be a huge impact and whenever we are you know selecting a flight it's hardly a matter of few thousands when we just choose one over other so if we have this point in mind we will definitely go for other options uh, considering our safety especially on a very long and international flights anu have you come across as a frequent traveler a lot of pa- instances when passengers are rowdy or rude are loud are obnoxious in so many different ways yes so recently i was traveling from netherlands to delhi uh, in emirates and uh, i just saw this incident where a couple was fighting and within like each other and because they were so much drunk and cabin crew was trying their best to you know calm them and just separate them but nothing was working out then they had a huge fight and we were all disturbed and we were like i was just sitting next to them so i was little careful at that point of time but uh, yeah on a similar basis like on my previous flight also i saw somebody shouting at the cabin crew because of some food issues and because he was very drunk so i'll say that these incidents are quite common especially on international flights where drinks are served captain ranganathan it you know a lot of our passengers sadly believe that it is their birthright to take their frustrations out at uh, at the cabin crew you know for whatever the reason is if there is not a meal which is served or there is some issue the sense is that the cabin crew are there to be vented upon it it's been happening for years it's 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 bizarre i mean how does one stop this sort of thing no it is not been happening for years uh, vishnu it is i would say the last 15 20 years and uh, it's not in the earlier days you will find that the crew did their job very well and as pilots we used to support them like i would never let any of my cabin crew be insulted or shouted at by the uh, i'll be out of the cockpit as soon as i shut down the engine so could you tell I us can... some instances captain ranganathan when when you actually were proactive what did you see or what were you told okay like when i was flying in singapore uh there was one passenger who uh patted the back side of one of the girls and she came crying into the cockpit to me i told the co-pilot to take control i went back and i warned them and i said you will not get away with this it is not like flying into any other country i said singapore is very strict i radioed ahead the guy was arrested as soon as we la- as soon as we landed the doors opened the sat security were there they arrested the guy he was in changi prison for one month i mean they don't care who you are but if you misbehave with the passenger they take very strict action 
See, it's because of such actions that the passengers behave. But here you know that if you're connected, you can get away with murder. And now take for instance this incident. Air India did not report it for one month. All the evidence would have been wiped out, whether it is a CVR or like the captain would have sent the ACARS. I'm sure that the ACARS report will be preserved. Otherwise, they walked off, there is no incident. And even if you take, like the guy has asked for proof. Now, if you go to a court and you have a good lawyer, and for all you know, the judge will say that there's no evidence and they let him off. Right. And the only way you can handle something like this is to ban the guy for life. You know, if the DGCA says now only 30 days, ban him from business in first class for life. Right. Very, that is an airline prerogative. It is not the DGCA. Right. You fly list, yes, the rules say. But you ban him for life from business in first class, his ego is punctured. Yep. Completely. And that is how, whether, you know, you've seen how politicians behave. We've had that MLA or MP. Yeah, of the Shiv Sena who started hitting yeah. an Air India hostess. So, you know, they get away. Now, Tata's, if they want to build up the airline to the old reputation, they have to come down very hard on discipline. Training, there is no CRM. Like here, if the cabin crew did not inform the pilot, it's a failure on the part of the cabin crew. You have to remember, they can't say they were tired or anything. You had 20 cabin crew on board. So to say that they were not aware is wrong. I'm sure that the cabin crew would have reported to the senior purser or the captain. The captain did not act and I would say I would blame him because you know what this sends out a message with the second incident is that no woman is safe when they travel with Air India. Yeah. If that gets around, the reputation of the airline goes for a toss. So, so it, it's, it's so sad, uh, you know, I mean, a, a legacy carrier like this uh, and, you know, I mean, they've just mishandled the situation. What the DGCA has said, uh, I mean, it, it's prima facie, it, it emerges that provisions related to the handling of an unruly passenger have not been complied with. The conduct of the airline appears to be unprofessional. It's led to a systemic failure. Uh, the situation wasn't, it's devoid of empathy the manner in which this entire situation was dealt with. This is a, you know, a case study of how a situation like this should not be dealt with. But Nidhi, let me ask you another question. Yeah. This is something that passengers don't know or they don't care about. The job of a cabin a crew member is not to feed uh, or to provide drink to passengers. It's essentially there to provide or ensure and guarantee to the best of their ability the safety of the crew. That's your primary training. Everything else is secondary. But yes. that respect uh, for the role that you play, which is essential in a, in a, in a, in a life-threatening situation, uh, uh, people don't know that. Yeah, uh, they don't know it. So let me give you one example on this. Uh, I was to fly from Brussels to Mumbai and uh, it started raining. So it's a rule over there when it starts raining. So the, the airport authority people, they don't do any work of loading because the insurance cost them high, which I was also not aware of. So we were delayed for four hours. Passengers were inside. We started to serve them. So one of the premier class passenger, uh, he started shouting on my crew not even one second, three times. So I said, let me handle it. It's fine. So when I went and I spoke to the guest, he threw me away. He actually threw me away. And I he, said, he pushed you, he shoved me. you away. Yeah, he, 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 he just pushed me and then like, he did like, just get out from here. And you're not there to take something like this. So I'm a human, right? Then I had to take my, not anger, but yes, definitely to teach that definitely you're flying, you've not paid for me, you paid for the seat, right? So I have to say something. So I said in a very loud voice where we are not supposed to because we are cabin crew, right? So uh, later on, entire crew member, they came to me and they said, Nidhi, you will definitely be, see, when you are a private airline, everything is about your name, you know, airline's name, that should not go in a bad manner. What may come to you? But I said, no, I have to have some integrity. I just cannot go. 
So later on, I told my captain, this is what I've done. And I said, I'm not in my senses. I will not be able to do any uh, medical or uh, safety wise, you know, any, any drills. So in case you want me to offload me here, you can do that or let me. So what I did was I stood in front of uh, the, uh, you know, first seat and I took the uh, PA system, which I'm only announcement for the premier class. And I said, look, this is what has happened. And this is what I did to him because I'm also a human being. You need to respect us. And I said, do you think in this state of mind, would I be able to do anything for you all? I may be, you know, revengeful rather, or I may not be able to do anything. So every person actually supported me and wrote a compliment for me. And I got 24 compliments on that flight. So it wow. depends upon how you deal with the person. No, no, it is you know, a difficult situation. situation. And to think that yeah. uh, flight crew have uh, or cabin crew have endless patience, uh, that's also completely wrong. As I wrap this up, just a small word on, on Nibi, uh, Nidhi Chapekar. She uh, was formerly, of course, with JET. She suffered serious injuries in the 2016 Brussels terror attack. Uh, managed to get out of that situation. We've seen those images of her. And it's so wonderful to actually see you, uh, Nidhi, on this program today. Thank you all very much uh, for being with us. We'll take a short break. More coming up.